Sheila Guo and Cassandra Ong are at the center of a growing international investigation. They are close associates of Alice Guo, the former mayor of Bamban, Tarlac, in the Philippines. Alice Guo is currently a fugitive from justice. Philippine authorities suspect all three women of deep involvement in criminal activities. These accusations are serious and could carry significant prison sentences. Both Sheila Guo and Cassandra Ong maintain their innocence. Their lawyers claim they are victims of circumstance, caught in a web spun by Alice Guo. The Philippine government is actively seeking to extradite Alice Guo. They believe she is the mastermind behind a complex criminal enterprise. Her associates' arrests are just the beginning, they say, of a much larger case. Indonesian authorities apprehended Sheila Guo and Cassandra Ong on the island of Batam. The women were attempting to leave the country. They were in possession of large amounts of cash and fake passports. Indonesian officials acted quickly, coordinating with their Philippine counterparts. They deported Guo and Ong to Manila, where they were met by Philippine law enforcement. The arrests were a significant victory for the Philippine government. They had been tracking the women for weeks. The arrests sent shockwaves through the Filipino community. The case was quickly dubbed the Guo Affair by the media. The public waited anxiously for more details. The Philippine Department of Justice wasted no time filing charges against Sheila Guo and Cassandra Ong. Guo faces charges of violating immigration laws. Ong is accused of obstruction of justice and violating the Passport Act. The women were taken to separate detention facilities. They were held without bail pending further legal proceedings. Their lawyers protested the charges, calling them politically motivated. The Philippine government alleges that Guo and Ong played key roles in a criminal conspiracy. They are suspected of facilitating illegal activities, including money laundering and human trafficking. The women deny these accusations. At the heart of this case is the Philippine offshore gaming operator Pogo industry, a sector that has grown rapidly over the past few years. Pogos are online gambling companies that operate in the Philippines but cater to customers outside the country. These companies have become a significant part of the local economy, providing jobs and generating revenue. While the industry is technically legal, it has been plagued by allegations of criminal activity. Reports have surfaced about various illegal operations being conducted under the guise of legitimate business. Philippine authorities allege that Sheila Guo, Cassandra Ong and Alice Guo used pogos as a front for their illegal operations. These individuals are accused of masterminding a complex network of criminal activity. They are suspected of using these businesses to launder money, traffic people and engage in other illicit activities. The scale of their operations has shocked many and raised questions about the effectiveness of current regulations. The arrests of Guo and Ong have brought renewed scrutiny to the pogo industry. Their capture has been a significant development in the ongoing efforts to clean up the sector. Lawmakers are calling for stricter regulations and increased oversight. They argue that without more robust measures, the industry will continue to be a haven for criminal activity. The government is under pressure to crack down on criminal elements operating within the industry. Public outcry has grown, with many demanding immediate and decisive action to address the issues plaguing the pogo sector. The future of the industry now hangs in the balance as authorities and lawmakers work to find a solution that will protect both the economy and the public. The Philippine Senate launched an inquiry into the pogo industry following the arrests of Guo and Ong. Senators are seeking to determine the extent of criminal activity within the industry and identify any government officials involved. The Senate hearings have been explosive, with witnesses alleging widespread corruption and abuse. Senators have grilled representatives from the pogo industry, law enforcement agencies and government regulatory bodies. The hearings have captivated the nation, with daily coverage dominating the news cycle. Sheila Guo was summoned to testify before the Senate. She appeared defiant, refusing to answer many of the Senator's questions. Her lawyer cited her right against self-incrimination. 
Her silence only fueled suspicions about her involvement in the alleged criminal enterprise. The Philippine House of Representatives also launched its own investigation into the pogo industry. This move came after numerous allegations and reports surfaced, suggesting widespread corruption and illegal activities within the industry. Lawmakers were determined to uncover the truth and hold those responsible accountable. The House Committee on Justice issued a subpoena for Cassandra Ong to testify. Ong, a prominent figure in the pogo industry, was believed to possess critical information that could shed light on the alleged criminal activities. She initially agreed, but failed to appear at the hearing. Her absence was a significant setback for the committee, which had been counting on her testimony to advance their investigation. Ong's absence infuriated lawmakers, who accused her of disrespecting the committee. The heated debates and passionate arguments that followed highlighted the frustration and determination of the lawmakers to get to the bottom of the issue. They voted to hold her in contempt and ordered her immediate arrest. This decision was not taken lightly as it underscored the seriousness with which the committee viewed her non-compliance. Her lawyers argued that she was too ill to attend the hearing, but their pleas were ignored. The committee was unconvinced by the medical claims, suspecting that it was a tactic to avoid testifying. The House Committee on Justice sees Ong as a key witness in their investigation. Her insights and knowledge about the inner workings of the pogo industry were deemed invaluable. They believe she has crucial information about the inner workings of the alleged criminal network. The documents and evidence they had reviewed so far pointed to a complex web of illegal activities that needed to be unravelled. Her refusal to cooperate has only strengthened their resolve to get to the bottom of the Pogo scandal. The lawmakers and investigators are more determined than ever to uncover the truth and bring justice to those involved in the illicit activities. The arrests of Sheila Guo and Cassandra Ong were the result of close cooperation between Indonesian and Philippine authorities. The two countries shared intelligence and coordinated their efforts to apprehend the fugitives. This case highlights the importance of international collaboration in combating transnational crime. Criminal networks often operate across borders, exploiting differences in laws and regulations. Only through joint efforts can law enforcement agencies effectively address these challenges. The successful operation has strengthened ties between Indonesia and the Philippines. Both countries have vowed to continue working together to combat crime and bring fugitives to justice. This case serves as a model for future cooperation in the region. The arrests of Sheila Guo and Cassandra Ong are just the beginning of a long and complex investigation. These arrests have opened a Pandora's box, revealing a web of criminal activities that span across various sectors and regions. Philippine authorities are pursuing all leads in their effort to dismantle the alleged criminal network. The team of investigators is working tirelessly, piecing together clues and following every possible lead to ensure that no stone is left unturned. They are examining financial records, interviewing witnesses, and conducting raids. Each piece of evidence is meticulously analyzed to build a comprehensive case against the suspects. The investigation has expanded beyond the pogo industry. Authorities are now looking into other sectors that may be involved, broadening the scope of their inquiry to include various industries and regions. Authorities are now looking into possible links to other criminal activities, including drug trafficking, human trafficking, and money laundering. The network's reach appears to be extensive, involving multiple layers of illegal operations. Corruption and extortion are also under scrutiny. Investigators are delving into cases of bribery and corruption that may have facilitated the criminal network's activities, ensuring that those who abuse their power are held accountable. The full scope of the alleged criminal enterprise is still being uncovered. New leads are emerging daily, and the team is constantly adapting their strategies to keep up with the evolving nature of the investigation. The case has sent shockwaves through Philippine society, capturing the attention of the public and the media. People are demanding answers and justice as the revelations continue to unfold. Exposing the dark underbelly of the country's rapid economic growth 
The investigation has highlighted the stark contrast between the nation's prosperity and the underlying issues of crime and corruption. It has also raised serious questions about governance, corruption and the effectiveness of the country's legal and political systems. The public is calling for reforms and greater transparency in government operations. The rule of law is being tested as the judicial system grapples with the complexities of the case. The outcome of the trials will be closely